welcome back. ChannelCV.com has more information for you. And on YouTube.com forward slash channels web, you can watch our videos. You can also watch us on your mobile device via your browser or download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows devices from their respective stores. Now, besides giving you access to news updates, the Channels TV and Channels 24 app have an eyewitness feature that you can use to share pictures, videos, or news of happenings around you. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the menu and follow the instructions. A team from the Airport Council International and the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria have commenced a safety review and inspection of the Kaduna Airport under the Airport Excellence and Safety Program, ahead of its certification by the end of 2018. According to the ACI team leader, Brahim Laklifi, the APEX program is, focuses mainly on safety and security of the aerodromes. He adds that the objective is to identify safety gaps as well as draw an action implementation plan for the host airport to address these vulnerabilities. The airport manager is optimistic that despite some infrastructural challenges, it will be the airport will receive its certification by November. So we are here with several a team with uh, formed with a representative from airports worldwide to work hand in hand in our with our colleagues at Kaduna Airport to see whether there is any area of improvement to assist them to identify if there is gaps regarding the international uh, requirements and recommendation and best practices and to assist them to identify the best corrective action to implement like this they will be able to improve their the existing system our expectations are, is that uh, by the time we finish with the ACI team Kaduna Airport will be the better for it uh, they're here to take us through the process of uh, certification which is expected to happen around September October this year. And um, as Mr. Ibrahim earlier said, they're here to help us identify our gaps and that at the end of uh, our meeting with them, we'll be able to fill those gaps. The Kwara State Governor is optimistic that the state will get a refund from the federal government on federal projects handled by his administration. Governor Abdul Fattah Ahmed disclosed this during an inspection tour of ongoing road projects in Kwara North Senatorial District of the state. He promises to ensure early completion of those uncompleted, while he also took time to test the quality of others already certified. The last time we went to check some roads and bridges within the metropolis, and this time we start to go to Kwara North to look at the progress of work on Megiddo Road by the road. And so far, we're happy with the way the job is going on and we're assured that the job will be taken to completion at the scheduled time. And detour of the bridge, you recall some time ago we had a major uh, breakdown on the bridge in Alagbado that really created problems for our people in terms of being able to move to this part of, um, this, you know, this part of the metropolis. But luckily, like we said, we committed that we're going to get the road fixed and I'm happy that the bridge has been completed and is ready for commissioning. I think the federal government is making arrangements to see that um, federal projects, roads especially, that have been carried on by the state and certified by the Federal Ministry of Works are being prepared for refund to states. Soldiers and officers from various divisions of the Nigerian Army took part or have taken part in a cleanup exercise to foster civilian military relations. The soldiers carried out general sanitation exercises, clearing dump sites, block drainage systems in their host communities as part of activities to commemorate the 2018 Nigerian Army Day. This report takes a look at how it went in Edo, Kaduna, and Boronu states. <laughs> They are known to handle weapons during land warfare operations in defense of Nigeria's territorial integrity. But for a few hours, it's about the use of shovels, rakes and other tools to clean up the environment. The 
the sanitation exercise across the country as part of activities to mark the 2018 Nigerian Army Day, which comes up on July 6. We in one Div headquarters are following along with the program of the week-long exercise by starting with uh, environmental sanitation and we've chosen the Bernard General Area to identify challenges or build up of uh, refuse and we have come here to assist. <laughs> This one, I'm ready to work now. We surprised for this work. Bless yeah. say because say, the environment is too dirty. That's why the so you can't come help us work. We like and well, well. As part of preparations for this year's celebration, the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Toko Burutai, wants Nigerians to support activities of the Army as troops are making efforts to ensure peace and security of the nation. I therefore want to use this medium to solicit with us all to be our brother's keepers. We assure all Nigerians that the Nigerian army is for you and will continue to work for the common good of the country while professionally carrying out its constitutional responsibilities. One of the aims of the Nigerian Army Day is to foster civil-military relations. Aside from the sanitation exercise, medical screening programs are expected to be carried out in select locations in Borno and other parts of the country by all Nigerian army formations and units. Before being a member of the armed forces, we are first of all a member of the society. So we should be seen to contribute to the development of that society. This year's celebration titled The Nigerian Army and National Security, a panacea for Nigeria's economic development, focuses on the innovation, technology, research and development aspects of the Nigerian Army. In the southeast and to politics, ahead of the 2019 general election, some major political stakeholders in Enugu North Senatorial Zone and members of the People's Democratic Party are supporting the re-election of the state governor, Ifanyi Uguayi. They were speaking at a zonal rally organized to show support and solidarity with the state governor. His supporters are optimistic that another four years will allow for consolidation of projects already started and ensure continuity of good governance. Hundreds of residents of Enugu North Senatorial District gather at the government field to show their solidarity to Governor Ifan Yogwai for what they say are the accomplishment of his government and, in their opinion, the definition of good governance. One after the other, their leaders take to the stage to pour out their appreciation and reaffirm their support for his return to office. The massive world infrastructure development going on in all these and crimes of the state is most commendable. All these are our support, the various support groups should translate into countable votes. Countable votes in the sense that we have to vote in our governor and voting correctly so that we will minimize voting to vote, votes that will be nullified. A former governor of the state stood to make an official declaration on the behalf of all those gathered. At the end, a Bible was handed over to Governor Ifan Yugwani by some clergy in a bid to encourage him to continue to lead with the fear of God. Coming up on News Across Nigeria, Bauchi State gets a new deputy governor. Stay with us.